हेलो एवरीवन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर इन बेस्ट ऑफ अर स्पेरिट्स एज प्रोमिस लास्ट वीक वील शूट फॉर सॉल्विंग वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट टू सेवेंटी थ्री एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ नंबर आफ्टर अ डबल रिवर्सल द क्वेश्चन सेज वी आर गिवन एन इंटेजर वैल्यू वी नीड टू रिवर्स दिस इंटेजर वैल्यू एंड वी गेट द अपडेटेड नंबर एज रिवर्स वन अगेन वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द रिवर्सल ऑपरेशन ऑन दिस नंबर एंड वी गेट द अपडेटेड वैल्यू एज रिवर्स टू In the end, we finally need to check if reverse two happens to be equal to the input number. If it is, then we need to return true. If it is not, then we need to return false. Here we have also specified few examples. Num is five twenty six. Num is eighteen hundred. Num is zero. So I'll talk about the solution as well as these examples via the PPT. So let's quickly move on to the PPT. The question is an easy level question on lead code, and I also feel the same. A number after double reversal. Lead code two one one nine. And let's take few examples here. Uh, let's assume the input number is specified to us as five twenty six. And let's try to generate the reverse number out of this. So the reverse number would be six twenty five. So this is what we got as R one. And let's perform the reversal operation again and get R two. So so when when we are performing the reversal operation, what would be the number? It would be five twenty six, and this number and this number both are equal. Equal, we return true in such case. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we have five twenty six followed by two zero. So let's perform the reversal operation. What do we get? We get zero zero six two five, and this number in this number we have to delete this leading zeros. So the actual number turns out to be equal to six twenty five. As we get R one as this again, we perform the reversal operation. We get R two as five twenty six. Are these two number equal? No, these are not. There is a slight takeaway from this example. The takeaway is whenever there is a number that ends with zero, we are hundred percent sure that when we'll perform the dual reversal operation, the number is not going to match because these trailing zeros are going to get deleted by virtue of the reversal operation. Therefore, we can say whenever the number ends with a zero or is divisible by zero, we can say that it won't lead to a successful result. We have to return false in those cases. Let's move ahead and let's take the example where the input number is given to us as zero 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 zero. So, in all such case, uh, when we perform the reversal operation, for uh, the R one turns out to be zero, R two also turns out to be zero. In such case, both of them are equal. So there is an exception to this rule whenever the number is divisible by ten. For the case when the input number is zero, in such case we have to return true. So this is what we are going to conclude. And let's quickly move on to the coding part. It's a one-liner statement, and let's see what it is. We simply check if the number turns out to be equal to zero. In those cases, we have to return true. Otherwise, what we need to do? We need to check whether the number ends with zero or not. So we have casted that number input number integer number into string, and we check whether it ends with zero. If it does end with zero, then we can say that uh, it, the value will not remain same or consistent as the input number after two reversal operations, and therefore we have added a not here. So let's try this up. Accepted. The time complexity of this approach is lean is constant. we are not doing anything so does the space complex right this brings me to the end of first question i'll be solving other questions as well so stay tuned